Millions of mink could have COVID-19, and European authorities are slaughtering them out of fear that they'll spread a mutated strain of the virus to people. Here in northern Greece, that's already happened. And in Denmark, too, where hundreds of human infections related to mink have farmers scrambling. We get uh, told that we should gas all of us mink. We have no uh, corona in farm now, but the faster we can do, do it, the better. The order to call came from the Danish government in early November. We have chosen to take extensive and comprehensive measures in the current situation. Culling of 17 million mink, effectively shutting down the entire industry for now in Denmark. This is not a decision that has been taken lightly, but it is a necessary precaution. But the decision wasn't entirely well received. Hundreds of Danish farmers and mink breeders have since taken to the streets to protest, driving their tractors past government offices. Backlash has also come from some lawmakers, who argue there was no legal basis for a nationwide order to slaughter, and that farmers should have been compensated first. Denmark has been the world's largest exporter of mink fur for decades, with thousands employed in the industry. For many whose livelihoods depend on the global fur market, losing an entire population of mink is devastating. What do you think it'll be like when, when the whole farm is empty? Oh, it's been a... I don't know what I should hear. It's, a, oh, it's been hard that we not have for animals. This is every day we got out to check our animals, how is how is do and there's health and all these things. This is the, the we work we do every day. So it's it's been not fun. It's not fun. It's not fun. Denmark's prime minister felt their pain during a visit to a family's farm. We have two generations of very, very good minkavler, far son. Um, som på meget, meget kort tid har fået knust deres livsværk, og det, det har været følelsesladet for dem, og undskyld, det er det også for mig. Although the Danish health ministry recently stated that the virus detected in mink farms has now been contained, the country is still deploying its armed forces to help finish off all 17 million animals. Denmark isn't alone in its sacrifice of mink to protect humans from the coronavirus. The Netherlands, Spain, and Ireland are calling to curb outbreaks, too. Some fear this could mark the end of the mink business in Europe.